This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone. Good morning and good evening. So I'm coming back after many days because I took a break of some time. Okay, so in this session we are going to see about user access review because uh, I didn't find any material sort of thing, a very good material in the net, whether in YouTube or in documentation point of view. So I thought of making uh, some videos on this. So first of all, what exactly is a user access review? Um, this comes under GRC category. When you go to workflow concept in MSMP, this falls under access request management component. So let me go to the MSMP workflow. Workflow for access control and then we have maintain MSMP workflows. So under this most of the clients or most of the companies are using the first workflow which is related to access request. The first one access request workflow. We have one more workflow. There are several types of workflows we have and this is the last one here which says user access review workflow. So we will discuss about this in different sections. So I will divide the topic into different sections and we will see that. Okay. So first of all, we need to understand you what do you, what is the definition or the meaning of user access review. So let us go to the definition. Let us go to the definition. I'll just make it simple. User access review. To check whether users have appropriate access as per their current job or role. To check whether users have appropriate access as per their current job slash role. So what do you mean by this? So what happens is we keep on assigning roles to users. If a user is staying in the organization for longer period, let us say for three to four years of time or some employees also stay to longer time and they keep changing some departments and they get keep getting transfers. When they keep changing departments, the access related to old department will be there and when he is shifted to a new department, the new roles need to be assigned. So ideally speaking, we have to remove the old roles related to old department and then we have to assign the new roles. But doesn't that, that doesn't happen. The old roles keep they keep as it is and they keep assigning the new roles. So the user is having the roles of older department and as well as a new department. So ideally speaking, he does not need both the roles. He only needs one set of roles. So he is not he's having some inappropriate access here. So to check whether users have appropriate access as per the current job. So what is the current job of the user? Accordingly, he has access or a user has access or not. We have to check it. Okay, or in other words, we can also say to remove unwanted access for users. So when we review, when we see the roles of the user, you may feel that some roles are not necessary for this user and you wanted to remove those roles. Okay, uh, this is organized. We, we can do it in an organized way using this user access review process. How can we organize it? That is randomly you can do it whenever you can go and see the user record. You can check with the respective manager. This user is having so and so roles whether this role is uh, necessary for him or not you can remove the roles but it is not organized way so what is an organized way so what we can do here is you can make it a frequent event or some recurring event like once in three months once in six months once in a year at least once in a year the review has to be done for all the users in the system whatever the user count may be the user count is 5000 or 10000 or 50000 doesn't matter so you should keep a uh, some process should be established 
the user's access should be reviewed by someone once in in a time time frame period like three months or six months or one year so one year is a minimum period uh, you can keep minimum you can also keep three months three months is too short time you don't expect a user to change his job role within three months generally so we can go for six months or one year now coming to the first area of this user access review who will or should review who will review this access or who should review the access there are two options given by sap manager and then role owner the manager is a reporting manager the manager knows most of the report is duties what the, what exactly the duty he is doing and he can decide whether the role is required for him or not provided the manager know the technicality of the role he knows the technical importance of the role access to what he is getting but in some organizations where the managers are not from technical background in the in that organizations we may not need to it is not recommendable to choose the manager as a reviewer because he doesn't know what is sap he doesn't know he may not know what is a role concept so in that case uh, putting him is a man manager as a reviewer doesn't make any sense so only when managers have the technical knowledge only it is recommended only then you can go for a manager as a reviewer and second case is always a recommendable role owner because role owner is a person who is the owner of the role he will definitely know about the role concept and he also is well aware of the t codes inside and authorizations and to what level the restriction is done within the role and who should be the target audience of this role so all these details are well aware they are well aware of these concepts so role owner is a perfect guy yeah but when when i told about manager you may think the manager can be a technical background or non-technical background but role owner will be always from the technical background okay this is a safer option okay so who should do the review this is divide this decided by a parameter this has to be decided and configured in the parameter configuration so in access control we have parameters right so let us go to the parameters so where do you see the parameters under access control the first step maintain configuration settings yeah here we have a special category parameter group called uar review so these are some parameters defined here uar review and this parameter 2006 parameter indicates or decides who are the reviewers so let me see the options what are available here i have two options manager and role owner which owner in we have two types of role owners role content approver and role assignment approver so we will take only role assignment approver not the role content approver role content approver comes in brm part there we decide whether he is a role assignment or a role content so it is always role assignment approver okay so here you should be deciding i will be choosing role owner here so this is the first parameter you should set who should be the reviewing the access this is controlled from here so when i saved the entry it is capturing in a transport request right so let me i think it is already recorded okay that's fine so you should remember whatever the value you change here it is re recorded in the transport request and we can transport these settings to the system to the other environments so that is the first thing below parameters are related to uar so most of them 2006 is the who are the reviewers so 2006 parameter decides who will be the reviewer manager slash role owner so i am selecting here role owner uh, also there is one more reason why i am selecting the role owner in a you need to select manager as an approver you have you need to have 
proper setup of LDAP or Active Directory that has to be integrated with the GRC. So where do you get the manager information from? Generally from LDAP or Active Directory. So if manager has to be selected, your LDAP or Active Directory has to be integrated with the GRC from which in GRC can pull the information, manager information, who is the manager of the person, particular person. Clear all of you? Right. So this uh, parameter setting. So I just went and you have uh, we have seen that you were we have changed the 2006 parameter to manager. We have choose the uh, role owner as the value. Okay, so this is about the initial concept of user access review and who will be reviewing the access. So in the next session, we will go for other areas of user access review. All right, thank you.